Hey there, awesome fans. We're all from Awesome Gaming here, and we've got more Baton Kaido's Eternal Wings and Lost Ocean. Last time, we rescued all of our friends from their uh, imprisonment and learned that we need to head off to the ice lands of Wazen if we have any hope of rescuing Callus. Now, I did say that I would also wait for our Mountain Apple to become... Mountain Apple Wine, and our pumpkin wheel could become cheese. However, because we're at this point in the game, we are forced to head to Wazen once we board them in Deer. So, we're just going to go ahead and take care of that now. And we shouldn't really be in Wazen for more than a couple of hours, because once the, once the apple becomes Apple Wine, it has about four hours before it becomes vinegar. And the the cheese will not uh, rot any further from where it's at. The quest magnets don't rot out. The only time is the uh, weak flame becoming a blank magnus. Alright, so here we are at the ice cliffs of Gomesa, and as you can see, I'm not touching any buttons right now, and our character will, will be blown around by the wind, and as you can see, Shell is kind of shivering a bit from the cold. Now, anywhere we interact with the uh, field, we'll be able to get the essence of snow. We don't need it right now, so... I don't think we need it at all. That said, we are unable to reboard the Mindir. This is the last time that we will be seeing the Mindir. Alright, over here, we have the Leo Constellation Magnus. And if, as you're trying to walk against the wind, you are a bit, do move a bit slow. Uninvited intruders, proceed if you can. Destroy you must the barrier of we, the ancient witches. Was that voice one of the Wazen witches? So it seemed the legend was true. I felt like the voice was inside my head. Is that one of the witches' magic tricks? Wazen be straight ahead. Great Mizuti be very sure. The voice said, a barrier. It looks like they're not going to let us pass through easily. What are we sitting around for? We have to get to Wazen, you know. Let's just do it. Alright, so as we go against the wind here, up this hill, we see that there's another chest up above. As the wind pushes us back. And no, I don't want the snow. I want the chest. And we get a Forsetti Robe. New defense magnets for our spellcasters. As we continue along, these snow cancerites will pop out of the snow. This doesn't look too good. And here we actually have another enemy, the Flobo. As with all other um, enemies with wings, the Flobo will have a Constellation Magnus for us. I actually should have swapped out the Water Magnus for Fire in Savina's deck. Because we're in a land of snow. We're expected to uh, fight a lot of water-aligned enemies. Also makes Gibari a pretty uh, bad spot fighter for this area. And as you can see, the snow cancerites are also capable of putting you to sleep. So if you have good sleep resistance, that helps a lot. In the meantime, let's snap a photo of the Lobo here. Oh, to kill it. <laughs> 
Now awake, let's go after this one that didn't attack us. Yeah. Alright, one shot kill. Sorry, throw him a rice ball. Use this. And Gibari, let's see if we can um kill this thing. Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's press ahead. All right, so, ooh, wolf claws. This is actually really good for um, Savina, so we'll pick that up. And while we're at it, like I said, I would do. We'll go ahead and throw in all of. Or fire madness. Perfect. I feel like I'm missing one. Nope, oh, Rupting Flail, Vanish Grenade. Yeah, we're good. Alright, we'll actually be able to see a Vanish, Vanish Grenade. If we're lucky. Now, these orbs here. This light. It must be one of the keys to breaking the barrier. There must be other keys elsewhere. Let's find them. There's going to be four in all that we want to find. And, yep, there's that other snow cancer, right? They move pretty slow. Um, they won't really chase after you. You really only have the wind to worry about as far as having the wind blow you back into them. Now, yep, there's another one that popped up. We may have to fight through both of them. Okay, took care of those two. And we can continue on ahead. Got some Flobos flying around. But this sparkling area in particular will give us sparkling snow. We don't need it right now, so we'll just ignore it. Just that we know it's there. Alright. And here we have Aquaburst level 4. Really useful. Here we have a new enemy, the Arachnid. That's how we able to do. Still did quite a bit of damage there. Is that all? They're not that threatening. There is one thing that we need to look out for, and I believe it is a uh, freeze status with um, their finisher move. And that said, we took care of one. Let's take care of the other. It. 
Seven. Which be mixing elements at that point. Alright, Spin's getting another shot before it gets to go. They should be able to take it out. So long. Special attack There we go. Alright, we don't need any more apples, so we'll just ignore that, and we will go to the right. As you can see, we got a couple Flobos flying around. If we uh, stop before we continue moving on, they will not run into us. And we'll interact with this orb. Back the way we came. And we're gonna have to fight the Arachnid to get through. Alright, quick and easy. Now the final orb that we need is up this way. As you can see, the barrier is right there. So if we hit this final orb... shatter the barrier. Alright, now we need to go around the other end of this little valley here. So, once again, we're going to have to fight the Arachnid. Alright, minor correction, they paralyze, not freeze. And just like all the other spider enemies that we fought before, they do have the Hardening Wax ability. Okay. Flobo taken care of. We got another arachnid up at this section. We should be able to avoid it easily, however. And in this chest, we get a tower shield. A defense magnets for the boys. And I believe Savina can use it as well. Alright, over here to the right. get a deluxe pastry. And then up this way to the left. Get the Shepherd's Purse. The magnet that allows Mizuti to class up to level 5. One final new enemy. This is the Flumer. And as you would expect, it's pure water. Block these hits. It's also capable of attacking you with wind, surprisingly enough. There's the uh, free status on Savina. Great. <laughs> Should be able to take it out here, though. There we go. I got all worried for nothing. They give a quite a bit of experience, however, fifteen hundred. Moving on. This place is nuts. I guess it ain't called the Icelands for nothing. So the rumors were true. Wasn't really exists. Get out of here. Look for 
Hold on. Just give me a minute. Shella? What are you doing? Should do it. Let's go. Hey, Shella, wait up, will ya? Icelands, the Icelands. This is something to see. Hey, Shella, where are you going? What's going on here? Hey, hold up already. Shella! We should follow her. Welcome home, Your Majesty. Did I just imagine that? Your Majesty? Are you telling me that... Shella, me? Hmm? We'll talk about it later. First thing we have to do is to find a way to fight back against the End Magnus and the forces of darkness. Queen Shella, we're relieved to see you safe and sound. I'm fine, yet... Graham and Leon came to protect me from a saber dragon in Sadal Sud. They... didn't make it. I'm so sorry to hear that. They were good men. I'm sure their souls are at peace knowing they did their part, as Her Majesty has thus returned safely. I will notify their families. Please do. Has anything happened while I was away? Nothing worthy of your attention, Your Majesty. I see. That's good to hear. You must be tired. Please take a rest. We'll prepare hot food for our guests. Barnett, we don't have time to relax. We need your advice. Hmm, hope I can be of some help. I see. Her Majesty has been through quite an ordeal. I thank you all for your help. Thanks to you, Her Majesty has returned to us safely. 
And I appreciate your involvement in helping Her Majesty. My sincerest gratitude. Barnett, stop it! You're embarrassing me. We have more important things to think about. Yes, yes, Your Majesty. About these end magnus you told me of. I could have never imagined that the calamities predicted long ago would turn out to be something so horrible. We certainly cannot allow this cursed god Malpercio to be awakened unto our world. However, to face the power of the five end magnus, the various limbs of ancient gods, you would need something equally powerful. The only thing that comes to mind is the ocean mirror passed down from generation to generation. The mirror should be able to reflect the gods' vile powers and provide some protection. It may allow you enough time to either reseal the end magnus or destroy them. Yes, this may indeed work. I think you're right. Very well. I'll go down to the Lake of the Dragon and get the mirror. Will you not reconsider, Your Majesty? Countless queens have taken this path. Yet none of them, not a single one. I know. To tell you the truth, I'm scared. But we both know this is the only way. I can't back down now. Besides, I have a guardian spirit with me. This just might work. Then I will say no more. I'll begin preparations immediately. It may take a while to get everything ready. I'm counting on you. Why don't we go take a look around town while she's preparing? Sounds good to me. Yes. I'd like to see how people live in the Icelands. The great Mizuti strongly wishes to accompany you. Might as well. It's an alternative to just sitting here doing nothing. Well, plot twist after plot twist. Shell is actually royalty. Who saw that coming? At any rate, we are here inside Castle Kafeljidma, and there's quite a f bit of places to explore. So as you saw, we both picked up a Light Flare Level 4 and a Young Wasabi Root. It looks like one of our shrimp just uh, died out. Yep, there it is. Oh, a pencil finally went to a blue only. Okay. And, ooh, good. Our w The Wheat Magnus that we picked up a while ago will become beer. Heals 850 HP and grants a nice defense buff. It's really uh, it's a really good healing Magnus. It does not age after this, so if you get any more wheat, definitely pick it up. Uh, the Young Wasabi Root is similar to the uh, White, the, the Holy Grail. Uh, heals 1 HP, but has a 60% uh, chance to cure death compared to a uh, 2 out of 3 and grants death resistance plus 60. Uh, this is used in a couple of... Well, not a couple. It's It will evolve, but not through uh, aging like other Magnus. We will need to power, power it up by the aid of special combos. Uh, if we talk to this lady here 
doesn't really give much of anything. We inspect the bed, we can find another Dancing Flames. So if you ever want a second Dancing Flames, there you go. Now, the castle is kind of unique in, a, in layout. We have a red safe flower over here. This is the ritual room. We're getting ready for the ritual, going down to Lake of the Dragon. Please wait a bit longer. So we can't ex can the so we can't explore that room just yet. In here, however, we actually have the throne room. And there's literally nothing in here. So now if we go downstairs... Go off to the left... And we have another room here. What a pleasant surprise! Queen Shella and her friends. How are you today? I've heard from others in the castle that Her Majesty has been tra traveling the Five Islands. If what the others say is true, I'd like to ask you to do a favor for me. What is it? Yes, I'll hear what you have to say. What is it? Please tell me. Well then, thank you for your kind offer. It's about the animals in this nation. As you can see, we have harsh weather in Wazen, so the only animals here, other than us humans, are Greythorns, Ice Monkeys, if they actually exist, and of course, the White Dragon. Unfortunately, it's been centuries since we last had contact with the Five Islands, so there's been no way for us to import new animals. We felt we were missing something. So I was wondering if you, a party of Queen Shella that's traveling around the Five Islands, could bring the animals from all around the world to Wazen? How does that sound? The Animals to Wazen campaign. Are you willing to help? Of course. Oh my, you're so whimsical. All right then, we'll take the offer. Oh, you'll help us? How nice of you. So what are we supposed to do exactly? Okay, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is talk to animals from all over the world. The animals will be added to your valuables, then just talk to me. Of course, I will reward you. Thank you, and good luck. This is the third of the three main side quests in the game. So we have the family tree for Kuzman, we have the star map in the cathedral, and now we have this zoo gathering side quest for Wazen. As of right now, we are able to access all but five or six animals to uh, throw into this uh, room here. So we'll definitely be picking them up as we go back around the islands. And some of them are ones that should be pretty obvious if you recall everything. Alright, in this room we got two new chests. We got a Phoenix Helm. And a Birdie Fatale. New equipment magnets for Mizuti. Now these two characters here... If you recall, we had Graham and Leon, the two male bodyguards that Shella had that died in the first episode. And, ooh, we got the cheese already, sweet. And we got their mementos. Here's the thing. The warrior's mementos will age after 40 hours have passed when you pick them up. As of right now, we're only 28 hours into the game, and we probably got them around our four, three or four. So, it's still going to be a while before these become the warrior's memories. However, the memories will give you a weaker Magnus when you return them to the wives here of Graham and Leon. Neither Magnus that you get are one of a kind, so you will be able to get each Magnus eventually. It's just that when you give them the mementos, you get the better reward, but you miss out on 100%. I'm going to give them the mementos today. Michella, 
Barnett told me about my husband, Graham. I'm so sorry. Had I been stronger, this wouldn't have happened. Please, your majesty. He was doing what he considered his own duty, his calling. To die in honor, fighting for you. I'm sure he wouldn't have had it any other way. That's right. So please, Michelle, stop blaming yourself. Thank you. They will always live on in my memories. My husband Graham told me before he left that it was an honor to go with Queen Shella, that most people would long for such a position so he would have to behave appropriately. Was he noble? Did he behave in a manner appropriate for a knight of Wazen? I brought back their personal belongings for you. If only I could have handed them to you earlier. I'm so sorry. Your Majesty, please take these with you. These Magnus once belonged to Sir Graham and my husband. I hope they'll be of some help. Thank you. I'll take good care of them. The full helm, a defense magnus for the men. Had we given them the memories, it would be a golden bugle, a weapon for Liud. Moving on downstairs this way, we are back at the bottom floor. And if we go into the room on the left here... The engraving on this pillar is definitely not the work of a novice. It's only natural to expect greatness of Kafaljidma. Your average sculptor definitely wouldn't be able to engrave like this around the edges. Hey, what are you doing? You're not going to tear down the castle, are you? Hmm? Ah, Queen Shell and her friends. How are you all? Um, I was studying the engravings of this castle. They're absolutely splendid. Are you sure? <laughs> Looked like you were going to break or smash the pillar to me. Oh, no, what a ridiculous thought. I was trying to come up with a new engraving technique by studying these old engravings. To prove it, I'll show you the new ideas that I came up with. I have a workshop in Cursa, so please drop by any time. I'll study here a bit more, so please drop by sometime later. This will open up a uh, couple of side quests in the future. So we'll deal with that when the time comes. In here... Hey, isn't that a dragon? It's amazing! A creature of legend, still alive! Ah! The great Mizuti relishes the thought of riding it someday!
It's been a while, hasn't it, White Dragon? I'll be asking you for your help again very soon. Please be ready. Yep, it's the very same dragon that we escaped the Imperial Fortress from in on. And not to spoil it, but the White Dragon will be our mode of transportation for the rest of the game. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be riding around on a frickin' dragon. story, Shella. Tell us why the Queen of Wazen would need to embark on such a dangerous journey. Hmm. Let's see. Where should I start? It was about nine years ago, I think. Barnett, my royal nanny, the one you met back in the palace felt something strange was going on in the outside world. Something is about to happen. It is but a pebble in calm waters now, but its ripples will grow until someday it will swallow all. The people, the world, everything. So she decided to send out three witches to keep an eye on the outside world. Cadell. Glamis Catrin All of them are younger sisters of Barnett. the magical shield encircling a new annoy? Yes, indeed. It was them. We actually bumped into them on several occasions in our travels. Remember this name. Never forget. The name of the god was Malpertio. Malpertio sucked up the entire ocean, but choked and drowned in the very water he swallowed. A new annue awaits you. You must go. Go and face your destiny. If you wish to return to the life you once lived as your own person. Hmm. Now this is strange. 
this young man here, I feel no madness within him. Just an empty and lonely darkness. For quite a while, the world saw little change. We began to wonder whether we had made too much of a fuss about it. But then, two years ago, Barnett suddenly had a strong premonition, an ill omen, speaking of ruin and destruction. Those not meant to meet have indeed met. An ominous, terrible tragedy is in the making. The end of the world is drawing near. That very night, I had an awful nightmare. So, I took two guards with me, Graham and Leon, and left. We reached the Empire and heard ominous rumors about the Emperor. I posed as a maid and found work in the Imperial Palace. Eventually, I found out about Geldeblame's secret scheme. I stole a pendant, which seemed to be the key to his plans, and ran away. The Emperor spoke of something being sealed away in Sadal Sud's Moonguile Forest. It was there that I met Callus. Which leads to us here, now. Correct. I see. Shella's battle started long ago, while we were still living the simple life, with no idea what was about to happen. Well, enough reminiscing. Let's take a look around town until Barnett's done with the preparations. Queen Shella, Barnett is ready. She'd like you to come to the ritual room. Okay, thank you. Please be careful. I'm sure you will come back safe and sound. Alright, so, to uh, trigger the virtual room being ready, you have to have seen this whole cutscene out here, which pretty much explains everything that's been going on so far. Uh, meet with the White Dragon, and I believe meeting with the Widows of Graham and Leon are part of it as well. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, before we head back to the ritual room, we still have the rest of the city of Cursa to explore. And while we're doing that, um... Like every other area, we got names to uh, explain away. So, Wazen is Beta, uh, Beta Columbi from the Columba constellation. Gomesa, the snowy dungeon outside that we were at when we first came here, is Beta Canis Minoris from Canis Minor. This city, Cursa, is Beta Eridani from Eridanus, and the castle, Kafal Jidma, is Gamma Seti from Sadus. So that first building we went into, th there's nothing in there for us. In this building, however, I do believe there is something. I can just get the... There we go. No. Nothing there. I think it's over this way. Yes, soybeans. So, another area to pick up soybeans. There's nothing in that cabinet there. And, yep, in this bin we get Dark Flare level 4. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Nothing else around here, I believe. I actually think if we inspect the snowman, we get something. Yes, we get a cloudy emblem. That's going to be a part of a couple of um, special combinations. So we'll keep that in mind. This kid that keeps slipping and falling, uh, it's nothing we can do about it for now, but that is part of a side quest later on. Uh, over here, we want to talk to this woman. Hmm? That family tree reminds me of something. Do you mind if I take a look at it? This name, Useiba, is my mother's name. And this Kuzman, could that be my father's name? I'm beginning to remember, but why do you have this? Kuzman gave it to you? He wants to see me before he passes away. Oh, I'll go. Of course I'll go. Yimin, 50 years old, female. A hardy northerner, mother, not too overprotective of her children, unlike her husband. Could you tell my husband and daughter that I'm going to see my father, Kuzman? My husband and daughter have gone to Gomesia. I'm so worried because of the blizzard. We would not be able to have her sign the family tree unless we got uh, Kuzman's first wife's name on there. Over here we have the shop. So we're going to sell off everything that we have. So, here's the snow kids, right? That's a really good photo. Uh, Magma Beast. Uh, Devil Claws when we were at the Celestial Tree. Here's Nyad. Came out really good. Vintage Coins we'll be able to sell for 5,000 gold. Um, again, hold on to it. Don't sell it. Despina, Thalassa. Magical Piggy Bank. This is uh, something that I picked up in Anue Anue. And, let's see. We got these... Uh, we get Wave Cutter, new weapon for Gibari, Saxo Flare, new weapon for Liud, Aqua Impulse, Savina, uh, Windblow level 3, Gray Shield, Battle Hood, more wheat, definitely want to pick that up, Apple, Beef, and Soybeans. And further on down this way, this is the port area of Cursa. So once we get our ability to fly off with the dragon, we'll be we'll dock there as we return here. Now, finally, what I want to do is go to the church, and I want to do some leveling up. Yeah, we've got quite a few levels to gain, because we've done, um, what was it, four bosses and then a bunch of random enemies on the way here. All right, we can also class up Mizuti. So we'll go ahead and do that. There is a reason why I'm leaving Mizuti and Liyud's decks empty, simply because I'm not going to be using them uh, for a while. I'm pretty comfortable with a setup of Shella, Gibari, and Savina. So there's no reason to have their decks have any Magnus in them when they're not going to be used. Alright, we've got a handful of constellations to give to the Keeper here. We've got Six Magnus. Would have been seven if we could have gotten it from Flobo. I'll do uh, that off screen. There's Ophiuchus. Cancer. This is... Looks like the star map started shining all by itself. Hmm. The restoration of the Constellation Lights may have reactivated the original functions of the star map. 
but it's still not complete. When all the constellations have been restored, the star map will regain its true appearance. Please take this as a token of my gratitude for your efforts. Because we returned 30 Magnus altogether, we get the Crystal Helm. And if we're in the middle of handing off Magnus, we will continue on after we get the 30th, 20th, 10th, however it is, many we have when we hit those uh, certain benchmarks. There are actually th uh, three more benchmarks to make. There's one for when we hit 40 Magnus. There's one when we complete the 12 signs of the Zodiac. And then, of course, when we complete the star map in full. For our efforts, we get a Light Flare level 4, a Dark Flare level 4, a Good Fortune, another Explosive Paddle for Gibari, an Aqua Impulse, and Birch. Right. All right. That all said, I think this is a good place to uh, call this episode. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And next time on Button Kaido's Eternal Winds and Lost Ocean, we're going to head to the Ritual Room and try to claim the Ocean Mirror. See you guys then.